So we started our company just looking for something really difficult to solve. I was going to ask you, what, what was the genesis of, uh, of Innovega? It was this expectation that we would move from smartphones and smart watches to smart glasses, but we'd all want bigger TVs, bigger monitors, et cetera, and you couldn't get those in smart glasses. So yeah. our company was started, okay, we're going to do the impossible. We're going to get these big experiences in normal glasses. That's how it started. And then from there it was pick the first app, and we picked patients. The, the very cool way of thinking about patients is that we've, um, there's an impairment of some sort, whether it be hearing or memory or sight, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and we want to bring best of breed technology to the patient. Well, where do you bring it? You bring it in a cell phone that you got to kind of bring out of your pocket every 10 minutes? No, you put it in a pair of glasses. The word um, iPhone was not our lexicon uh, until 2007. Amazing. Right? They, 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 uh, yeah, iPad, or I beg your pardon, uh, iPad, I think it was 2009. Yep. Think about that. So you're talking about 15, 18 years ago? We had the first iPhone, and now we're talking about the next generation. It's going to explode. I mean, that's pretty, that, I would say that's arguably is faster than the speed of light. Amazing stuff. Steve Wiley, the CEO of Innovega. <laughs> Again, the website, innovega.io. You, you got to promise to come back in studio and, and just. Anytime. Thank you for the invitation. That's the story grows.